This is probably the most valuable clam, actually one of the most valuable seafood species in BC right now. Gooey ducks, these odd looking creatures with over large bodies protruding from their shells and tube like necks that allow them to dig a meter into the ocean floor, or purple spiked sea cucumbers that scour the bottom for food are a prized food source in Asian cultures. The oldest one of these was aged at 140 years. And so when, you have, when you're harvesting very old species like this from the environment, it's very hard to be sustainable. They are also extremely valuable to a healthy marine environment. Vancouver Island University's Shellfish Research Station on Bain Sound, one of the coast's most prolific shellfish harvesting areas, has invited the community to immerse themselves in a world of learning what lies below. We want to teach the public about why they should love the ocean a little more, why we need to preserve the coast of Vancouver Island and how we develop on it and how we make sure that we keep the ocean in one piece uh, for future generations. The Deep Bay Marine Field Station is not just for university students and researchers. It's now open to the public. The idea is to build connections between marine conservation, coastal communities, sustainable seafood and education. We think of Vancouver Island University as the University of Coastal Communities and we want to be in the community. We want to be engaged in the community and having a dialogue. And so it's really important to us that we bring the community in, that we engage the community in what we're doing. Francisco, who you'll see wandering around in the lab coat downstairs, is just looking at the eggs that are starting to develop from the sea cucumber spawn we did yesterday afternoon and last night. The field station and, and was and built so at a cost of $11 million with non-teaching university funds. It was designed as a multi-use and multi-faceted facility integrating marine biology research, technology that demonstrates responsible environmental coastal living and our food relationship with shellfish. We built this fantastic building to do a lot of things, to, re to host the research that we do, uh, to walk the talk on uh, coastal sustainability and be one of the greenest buildings in Canada and teach about that. We use this facility to do marine biological research, mostly around shellfish and uh, estuarine systems on, on Vancouver Island. We use this facility to provide real world learning experiences and research experiences for, from our biology, fisheries and agriculture, resource management. Modeled after traditional agricultural field research stations, the focus at the Marine Center is in teaching practical aquaculture and to share the knowledge gained from its research with industry and the community. What we're trying to convey is about how we continue to keep Vancouver Island coastal communities sustainable. How do we continue to get food from the ocean to support ourselves? How we make sure that we maintain the environmental integrity of the ocean? There's rooms for teaching, a demonstration kitchen that is used not only by the university's culinary department, but for television cooking shows as well. Downstairs, visitors can watch the activity in the wet and dry research laboratories from the mezzanine. See all these very cool flasks of colored, colored water and stuff? That's actually algae. So very, spe very pure species or pure cultures of very specific algae that are very, very nutritious for sh larval shellfish. And so we will sort of refer to it as our shellfish salad bar. You can even dip your fingers into tanks where you can get up close and personal with local marine life. One of the reasons for these tanks is to sort of show what we have, um, you know, the diversity of animals we've got in the sound. We want to hear back from the community. We want to tell the community about the great things we're doing. We want to tell the community and a lot of our visitors as well to Vancouver Island about the great things that we have under the surface of the ocean as well. The Deep Bay Marine Field Station is a work in progress. There are plans to run programs for kindergarten to grade 12 students and also invite guest researchers from other nations. In Deep Bay, I'm Annette Lucas.